I'm Bryson Bort, and this is Hack the Plant. For today's episode, I'm joined by Megan Collar and Keith Meacham of Idaho National Labs, also known as INL. INL is a federally funded research and development center, an FFRDC. These are public-private partnerships which conduct research and development for the U.S. government. They have the largest federally owned wind project, which provides both full-scale power as well as engineering and development support to a variety of federal agencies using renewable power. Megan is a power engineer and researcher at INL. Keith is a critical infrastructure cybersecurity engineer. Today, we discuss how wind fits within our broader energy infrastructure. Wind energy is one of the most rapidly growing generation sources in the U.S., and it's a critical part of being able to meet carbon neutral and clean energy goals that are being set by the government, that are being set by businesses. Wind energy resource potential is very high. If we were able to capture all of the wind in the U.S., we'd be able to power the U.S. needs three times over. We also explore the key challenges of keeping these energy systems secure. Wind energy is also far more distributed and diverse than other forms of energy production. So because there are tens of different manufacturers of major wind systems and different types of installations are being put in all over the country, there's going to be a considerable effort to make sure that all of these systems are up to standards and are safe and secure. So I I think we're just in an evolutionary point. We've seen already, you know, the startup companies come in and build their wind farms and, and get a foothold in the door. We've seen large companies start to invest in large wind farms and we're getting significant amounts of our energy from wind now that we didn't even five or 10 years ago. The next step is that wind and solar together become a much larger part of our energy portfolio and naturally increased requirements from regulating bodies are going to come into play. And the industry itself is learning a lot about how to operate and what the risks may be. And just in the news, Vestas, a Danish wind energy company, was hit by ransomware to their IT systems on 19 November but wind turbine and supply chain operations were unaffected. An international energy agency report last year noted that cyber attacks would be a key threat to wind power and other renewable power sources. How can energy systems stay resilient in the face of cyber attacks as the industry grows? What core challenges does the industry have in maintaining security? What regulatory shifts might need to be made? Join us as we discuss these questions and more. Thank you for listening to Hack the Plant, a podcast of the R Street Institute and ICS Village Nonprofit. Subscribe to the podcast and share it with your friends. Even better, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts so we can reach even more listeners. Tell us what you thought about it and who we should interview next by finding us on Twitter at RSI or at ICS underscore village. Finally, if you want to know more about R Street or ICS Village, visit rstreet.org or icsvillage.com. I'm your host, Bryson Borg. Thank you to executive producer Tyler Lowe of Fader Creative, creative producer William Gray, and editor Dominic Sterrett of Sterrett Production. <laughs>